Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel Warpaint. I'm Tara Michelle and today I'm going to be bringing you my Ipsy 2015 of August. I don't know why I was going to tell you the date plus the year. It's clearly 2015. This is from August. August Ipsy. This is my first ever Ipsy so I was super excited to be getting this in the mail that on a whim I decided open it. Find out what's inside. Review it later. Because I opened my BoxyCharm on camera and did an unboxing for you guys and you guys liked it. Then I went on my Snapchat and I was like, do you guys like unboxing videos or do you like it when there's a review with within the video of like an unbagging of like Ipsy or BoxyCharm? And you said both. It was like 50-50. So this month I did an unboxing of BoxyCharm, which I'll link below, and today I'm going to be doing... A what was in my Ipsy bag slash what I thought of the products because I've already been using them for a good amount of time. So that's how we're going to roll this month. Next month we're going to just see because you guys are all thinking different things. So leave it in the comments below. I want to hear from more of you. Do you like raw unboxings or do you like unboxings with reviews or do you like unboxings and then a separate video that reviews because I kind of want to review my BoxyCharm box now for you guys. So anyway, let's get into the bag. First of all, the bag's really cute. It was a back to school theme houndstooth. It's plastic, so I like that because it, you can keep it clean. If you can hear my son going blah 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 blah, it's because his favorite thing to do on the iPad is record himself and listen to it back. That is what he's doing. Okay. Hey Jude! First thing I got in my bag is this Eco Beauty by La Fresh Group night cream it's so supposed to be super hydrating smoother and plumper looking skin is what it claims and you just use it at night time i didn't i haven't found that i like feel like my skin is like completely different when i wake up or anything and i've been using the tatcha beauty line so i was like hesitant to switch my skincare but i did use this and you know what this is a good size because it's 0.5 ounces so it's like a deluxe sample for sure because most night creams you get are like one ounce so it's half the size so I really do like this um this is natural it's biodegradable it's cruelty free and it is California born so that's pretty cool so I think that um some of their packaging comes like this as well so it's you know recyclable and everything like that so I really like that but I don't see like a super difference with this with my skin so that's saying something so if, from going from Tatcha to this like I didn't see dramatic results so it seems to be on the same line like I didn't have any breakouts or anything like that so it's actually really good so I did like that and I'm kind of like with Ipsy I was kind of just hoping for more makeup products because skincare I get nervous to switch over of anything because I don't want stuff to happen to my face but I appreciate having this in it, and nothing went wrong. My son, he just can't help himself, you guys. I'm sorry. So next in my bag, I got another skincare item. And this is called Albertini International is the brand. And this is called Divine Skin Hydrator. It's an in-shower body moisturizer. I've used it both ways that it says on the package. It says to put it on while you're in the shower, then rinse off. Or get out of the shower and put it on like a regular lotion. I think this stuff is just a gimmick. Um, I didn't feel super hydrated. I still use lotion afterwards. I was kind of disappointed in this. Um, it's unscented, which I appreciate because I love the smell of my body wash. And I like to keep that smell, so it's not scented. That's one plus side of this, but I don't think it does anything. And, um, but if you like, if you think it did something for you, that's awesome. Plus you won't smell like anything, so you can wear your regular perfumes and stuff. But it just wasn't for me. It was just like... Yeah. Okay, so the next thing I got in my bag, which I really liked, I had this on my nails this week, okay, so it's Friday, so I wore it this week, and I was like, wow, what, this stuff is awesome, I wore it on a Sunday, through a whole Sunday, and I work nine hours on Sunday, and I use my finger on a touch screen, and every time I paint my nails, that stuff just, it's gone, like my whole index finger is always gone because it chips off on the screen, I got the Trust Fund uh, Trust Fun Beauty, um, I think everybody got this color if they got the nail polish, and this one is an Elegantly Wasted, it's a, it's a purple tone, like a lilac-y, but it's deeper, so it's really good for fall, and the packaging's really nice, I think these retail for like $15, um, I'll leave everything linked below. This is a super nice nail polish. It's opaque. I used two coats. I didn't use a top coat because I wanted to see the performance of it, and it stayed on. The only reason I took it off um, was because I did finally get some chipping, and that was on, let's see, it was Sunday. I think I took it off Tuesday night, so 
Oh, no, 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 not Tuesday night. I, I apologize. It was Wednesday night. So I had four days of wear because I painted it on Saturday. So that's really good, actually, for me. Without a serious amount of chipping, I just took it off because that's one of my pet peeves is chipped nails. So anyway, it's really, really good because it withstood, like, me hitting the computer. So that's really nice. So the second to last thing I'm going to show you is this um, eyeliner pencil. And this is by Do... Oh, Ducey, or it looks like it's D-O-U-C-C-E um, Cosmetics. We'll let you figure out how to say it. And it's the Ultra Precision Eyeliner in 500, which is just black. It's made in Germany, and it is waterproof. This stuff is awesome. Um, I use it every day. It's really black. It's great for your tight line, great for your waterline. I use it just on my top waterline, and it doesn't transfer to my bottom waterline. So I use it to define my top lashes. And it's amazing. I haven't actually found a pencil that does that. I haven't found a pencil that stays just on my top waterline without transferring to my bottom lash line. That includes the Stila Stay All Day. That includes the um, Urban Decay 24-7. None of them work like this. It's awesome. So I'm like super thankful that was in my bag. That guy set off a guy's car alarm. I hope you get a ticket, sir. Listen to this car alarm. Really? two car alarms. So finally within my bag I got a Hakari full size lip gloss. This is in the color Merlot and I didn't go near this lip gloss because I thought oh, it's going to be like the sheer wine color. What was the color again? Merlot. What? Duh. And um, I was just like I don't know. I don't want it like a sheery wine color right now. And then one day I was wearing an outfit that kind of would complement a sheery wine color and so did my eyes and everything. So I was like ah, I'll pop it on. So I go to like literally pop this sucker on because it's called a lip gloss. No ma'am, this is so pigmented. It's like a liquid lipstick but stickier. It's insane. Like look how pigmented this is right now. And it is glossy. It's really good. But you definitely have to be really precise with it. I tried to just throw it on. It was everywhere. It was all over my teeth. It was out of whack lines. It looked ridiculous. So if you're going to wear this, um, I haven't given it a full wear because I had to take it off because I was like, whoa, I didn't expect that. It was everywhere. Um, you're going to have to line your lips. And also, I don't know how the wear time is on this, but the pigmentation for these lip glosses is insane. I don't know anything about this brand, but I'm definitely impressed by that. Come fall, look how gorgeous that is. It's going to be beautiful. So I really like that. Um, I wish there was more makeup in my bag. I know my friend Candace got a blush from Doll 10 Beauty, and I was like, I want a blush. So I think I'm going to redo my test that you can take when you go on to Ipsy and just try to get rid of skincare altogether because I don't like to mess around with that. So we'll see. So what did you guys get in your Ipsy's? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you haven't signed up for Ipsy, if you're thinking about doing it, I think that it's worth the $10. Like, <laughs> if I knew that this um, pencil was going to work so well, I would spend $10 on it. I'm not sure how much it's worth, but I would have spent $10 alone on this. So as far as the August Ipsy bag goes, I was really happy with it. Um, I really like the nail polish, I really like the eyeliner, and I like the, what else was it? Nail polish, eyeliner, and I like the lip gloss, and the other two were okay. The lip gloss, I'm excited about. I just have to, I have to learn a little bit more about it. That's the only thing I can review for you, because it's just like such a statement lip that wasn't one that I was like, oh, I should wear this every day until I review it. So, anyway, this bag was pretty awesome, and like I said, let me know in the comments below how you want me to go about unbagging, boxing, reviewing these things for you because I want to do what you guys want. So I hope you guys are wonderful and if you got the FC bag, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're interested in signing up, my link is below. I do have a link with the Ipsy because I am a subscriber of theirs. So if you want to check it out, feel free to use my link if you like. I get points for it. If you're subscribed with Ipsy, you have a link too and you get points for it. So it's just up to you if you want to use my link. But it's right down there if you would like to. And also, if you guys haven't seen, I posted a Morphe haul. Um, I have that linked below. That's my latest video. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I will see you real soon in my next video. Bye!